a very good morning to you all children today is the concluding session of lesson 19 language writing and grade books books on medicine and surgery in earlier times there were many people who studied why pe people fell ill how they can be cured how people hurt in wars and could be healed etc they collected herbs and other things and prepared medicines they also wrote about these medicines and about the ways to lead a healthy life some of these books have been passed down to us one such famous book is called charaka samhita another book which focuses on surgery is called shushruta samhita shushruta was the father of surgery these books laid the foundation of ayurveda the traditional indian system of medicine and health they taught people about the ways to lead a balanced life on astronomy and mathematics our ancestors were fascinated by heavenly bodies like the sun and moon the stars and the planets they observed them day after day and noticed that these objects in the sky kept changing over time some changes took place every minute some took place more slowly over several days or months or even years they noted all this carefully and found out that the skies had two or three distinct kinds of bodies the sun which rose and set every day and gave us give, and sun gives us warmth the moon which grew bigger and vanished over the month the planets which moved slowly against the background of the stars and the stars which shone brightly but did not change their position slowly many people felt that these stars planets sun and moon contained secrets about the entire universe and that we should understand them better by observing them more carefully and by calculating their movements one such person was aryabhatta who wrote a book called Ar aryabhatiyam in which he said that the earth rotates causing day and night and that actually the sun did not go around the earth aryabhatta and other mathematicians of ancient india also adopted the decimal system and place value system writing the numbers the way we do today earlier romans wrote 102 as c11 or 127 as c x x b11 c stands for 100 uh, x stands for 10 v stands for 5 and 1 stands for 1 they did not use any zero this created lot of problem in adding etc with the decimal system and the place value system we can write this simply as 102 or 127 today the system of writing numbers is adopted throughout the world coming down to sanskrit literature one of the most important thinkers of ancient india was panini who wrote about the grammar of sanskrit language in a book called ashtadhyayi this helped to systemize language and made it easy for others to learn patanjali carried forward this work by writing a long commentary on panini's book Ashwagosha in the Kushan's time wrote Buddha Charita one of the earliest kavya or poetic story in Sanskrit based on the life of Buddha During the Gupta period some of the finest books in Sanskrit were written Amara Simha who was in the court of Chandragupta II wrote the famous Amara Kosa a kind of dictionary in Sanskrit During this period drama became a well developed form of literature and popular entertainment Basa a famous dramatist wrote 13 dramas based on stories from Ramayana and Mahabharata Kalidasa wrote his famous drama Abhijana Shakuntalam based on a story from Mahabharata relating the love of King Dushyant and Shakuntala Shudraka wrote a very interesting drama called Michatikatika describing the lives of urban people Kalidasa also wrote poems of different kinds and these have become famous all over the world These are the few multiple choice questions children the first one is the book written by aryabhatta is aryabhatiyam the famous book on medicine is charaka samhita official language of india is hindi we think and understand with the help of c c is language we think and understand with the help of language ramayana and mahabharata are the two epics of india the continuation of multiple choice question children devanagari is a script number of languages recognized by indian constitution are 22 languages humans are the only living things on the earth who speak language please complete the class work and write down the multiple choice question and submit to me as soon as possible thank you children have a good day